I can't really see if we're even on camera because I have it set the wrong way. That's hilarious. It would be so great if I had my tripod. Where are you there? Oh, you're over there. All right. I'm going to move this over. Oh. We're live, by the way. Oh. Hello. Hello. Here we are. Live in Wyerton, Ontario. Till the last drop. Episode one. Special guest, Cap, a.k.a. Kitty. Hello, friends. We're here in Wyerton. We took a motorcycle adventure. Oh, I guess you can see that. We took a motorcycle adventure to Tobermory. And my goal is to get back to the studio office for 5 p.m. to be in the bar. That wasn't happening. We got distracted. We ran into that. So now we're eating Caribbean food and almost enjoying the view. But we're focused on you instead of the view. Which is okay. You get to enjoy the view kind of. It's fun. Now, let me see the picture too. Oh, well, hello. I should raise raise everybody up so they can see the water. All they hear now is, I'm going to move away from it a little bit. Because I'm not going to show you. Oh, this warm. I'm wearing a lot of layers. Oh, are you ready for yourself? I'm going to make sure I'm done. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, if you're watching, hello. I mean, if you're watching. That's such a silly thing that live streamers say. If you're watching. Well, if you're not watching, you wouldn't be hearing me say that. So why would I say that? That's a bad habit. I picked up without even knowing I picked it up. Oh, I think I have expected you to pull it off. I didn't actually check if this was carbonated or not. That'd be hilarious. Let us know what you're doing, what your thoughts are. It's Sunday, Sunday fun day before Monday. I'm drinking pineapple ginger. Woo! That just cleared my sinuses out. That was great. You want to try some? It's, uh, it's definitely not a stick of ginger. It's good though. It's really good. Oh, it's like a Yeah, <laughs> and right in here. That's cool. That person's shirt says Sherlock and Co. Susie and Co. Roger Watson. Oh, I forgot I had hot sauce here. My lips are so chappy. Those are probably hot sauce, too. I'm not sure. Looks like if you want to keep your emotions on. You can't. Oh, yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little birdie. Yeah. So, in Wyerton, we're in Wyerton, Wyerton, Ontario. And can you, by the way, can you hear me? Can you let me know if you guys can hear me? I feel like you can, but you can give us a comment if you can hear us. Because the camera's quite far away from where we're eating. Anyways, we're in Wyerton, Ontario. Home to Wyerton Willie, who's a groundhog. So, if you're in Canada, Hello, Gareth. Thank you for letting us know. If you're in Canada, if you ever watch the Weather Network on February 2nd, they're like, and now we go to live coverage of Wyerton Willie to like see if the groundhog sees his shadow. That's where we are. We're in Wyerton, and Wyerton Willie is the mascot of this town. He's like a national treasure. I think the original Wyerton Willie passed away like a few years ago, so now they have a new Wyerton here. Yeah. We don't talk about it. We'll just... It's the same. They live forever. Doctor Who. We took a trip to Tobermory, Ontario on the motorcycles. Cat rides, I ride. So we both rode a motorcycle. Our buddy Zach is with us. He's currently grabbing food elsewhere because he's not a fan of Caribbean food. So he's getting. That's fine. I'm going to repeat this with this Caribbean food. That's, that's a Zach thing. That's fine. Everybody's got their own preferences. Do you have a food that you don't like? Um, or do you mean like style? What's style? I've never tried Caribbean food before. Oh, you yeah. know? Yeah, this is my first time having it, so I think even then, I'd have it again. Yeah. Especially that patty. Mm, the beef patty. Yeah. Yeah, I like beef patty. Yeah, it's so good. I can't believe you've never had clear beef. And like, even this, I expect it to be more spicy. Like, not spicy whatsoever, and I actually add spice to it. It's just flavorful. It's just flavorful, yeah. Mm -hmm. spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smoky, spiced, but not hot spicy. Yeah, I love Caribbean food. I was telling Jack, I grew up raised by a Jamaican nanny, so I grew up on oxtail, curry dough. A lot of people have commented about my use of the brand nephew, the overproof rum bottle that I have in basically every video. And they asked me, like, what's with that bottle? And it was kind of an accident. It kind of just started because it was, I just liked it. It was one of the only bottles that had that shape and it just spins really well. So I started using it. But also it's like a low key salute to a lot of people that influenced my childhood. Because like, Gareth, that's a great bike, man. Triumph's a great bike. My two brothers both have Triumphs. And yeah, Cap, you, well, you, you, yeah, what do you want? I am on a Honda Shadow 750. It's not huge, but not small, of course. And I'm on a Kawasaki Vulcan. It's an EN500, 2009. It was my first bike. You're on your first bike, too. I'm on my first bike, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had mine for almost 10 years now. Yeah, me too. I almost just pulled a cat and ate the rest. Oh, no, this isn't after. This is paper. What were we eating? Yeah, the one day we're getting sushi burrito. And 
John didn't know it was covered in a, in a paper. In a paper. And so, yeah, but, it, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it had, like, a checkered, I had, like, two wrapping papers on it. There was, like, this checkered, like, red, white, black paper that you could very obviously tell was paper. paper. But then it had this, like, wax, like, parchment paper around it, like, tight. And Kat didn't know it had the two wrappers, and it was her first time having Subu, sushi burrito. And so she's eating it, and I'm looking at this consistency, because it's wrapped in, like, seaweed, right? So if you have this sushi burrito, which if you haven't had a sushi burrito, it's just sushi, but has a burrito. It's pretty self-explanatory. And it has a paper on it. And she's chewing this burrito, but the paper's coming with it. And I'm like, are you, did you take the other paper? No. Like, because I said it was chewy, and I'm like, oh, okay. oh it's really chewy for a burrito. I'm like, I'm wondering if they didn't, didn't make the outside bean properly. I'm like, oh, maybe they just overcooked it or like, kind of like that. I expect the way it crunched. Or I'm like, I just, let me guess, did you use some rice? Mm. Clear paper. That's the rice paper. The rice paper, yeah. yeah. The rice paper. <laughs> she just kept eating it. And then I started pulling out the pieces. I'm like, is this supposed to not like be able to chew? Well, I just finished it. The burrito's like this big. I maybe made it down to here before I started comment on it. You're like, oh, it's freaking big, man. Stop. Yeah. Well, you're alive. It's fine. <laughs> Point is, double check your food before you eat it. Oh man, what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten, Pat? Like other outside of the paper, yeah. Like you ever do one of those fires? Yeah, yeah. Like for fun or because someone dared you? No, for, like they they get made of candy. Like you get like a candy grasshopper and you get like ants and stuff like that you can eat. Candy grasshoppers and candy ants. Yeah. Where do you get those? I feel like there's no place like you can buy. It. I know they make crickets flavored now. Yeah. You just buy bags of crickets. Yeah. So you've had this? Why? I think it was at some fair or something, I'm pretty sure. That's fair. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I don't think paper does either, but it's nature, so it's kind of nature. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably not going to help you reach any nutrient goals. No. But now I know if I need to survive in the nature, I can eat some bark and I guess I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. You might not survive because, you know, you starve to death, but at least you won't die because of the bark. Gareth, that's funny, man. I'm just, I'm just picturing, like, two, like, workout bros, like, like, gym bros. Bunch of like juice heads that are like, yo, bro, like you tracking your micros and your, your macros, and then like the other guy, like, yeah, man, like I am. What are your micros like? Oh, you know, bro, like just got some subu the other day, but I ate it with the wrapper, so uh, let's go. You know, <laughs> got my gains, go. Good point. Here we are. It's crazy. And I'm also not food, so I'll take you guys for a walk. Yeah. Take the crew down to the pier, or I guess it is a pier. Pretend. You're asking me questions that I don't know the answers to. I mean, it probably is, but just eating the fake news section, bro. So good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I brought my 36-inch wheel unicycle on the road trip with us. It's a doozy. Man, I hope you are enjoying your Sunday, whatever you're doing, whatever you got up to today. We went to Tobermory because A, Kat's never been, Zach has never been, and B, Kat's going to a special place tomorrow. Do you mind sharing where you're going? No. Imagine. This is her final goodbye. <laughs> Not for this year. Please, no. I am getting shoulder surgery on my left rotator cuff, so I have two surgeries. So doing physio for a while and not doing anything to help. Yeah. I'm gonna go get fixed up. Hopefully. I'm gonna go get better fixed up. Become a cyborg. Get cyborged mm -hmm. up. We don't have napkins, do we? We have napkins. Oh yeah, and those little thingies. And I actually just have a napkin. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't think we had napkins. Oh, you're both alive. Good. Tastes like dirt. Yeah, fair. Tastes like dirt. Yeah. yeah. Rat food. Groundhog food. This is crazy, man. Like, I was worried that it was going to be a lot greenier. Yeah. What is one way to put it? Not your whole country here. No. Alright, well, let's go explore the pier. Go find Zach. 
Interesting. Hello. Can you hear the phone? Yep. Oh. Lift off. All right. Are you done with it? Yeah. Tastes too much like dirt. Yep. Here. I shouldn't have made that. No, oh, it's shaky. Is it shaky because of me? Shaky. That's going to be like. Is that better or that's no? That's shaky, but that's okay. We'll go for a walk. I, I should get the gimbal. Do you think I should get the gimbal? Yeah, maybe. How much longer? Yeah. This? We'll just take him out to the pier. What's that? Out oh, to the pier and back. All right. We'll come back to this stuff. You want your phone? Yeah, might as well. Thanks. Oh. I don't know how to give it to you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Well, this is Wyerton, everybody. We might lose you over the water. We might lose signal, but that's okay. Crazy. It's really pretty, though. I'm glad that it's like this, the weather. <laughs> the groundhog. The, the ground. Hey, man, you might identify as a beaver. We don't know. Maybe he grew up what he wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, exactly. But now everyone just kind of stares at him on one random day throughout the year. Yeah, that must be a weird life, eh? Like, yeah, we're just going to stare at this guy and see if he sees his shadow. He's going to show up at his house, knock on his door. Crazy. Wyerton, Ontario. Wyerton, Willie. Yeah, look at that. Willie emerging. That's cool. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well, here we are. Enjoying life. <laughs> Traveling. Visiting. Exploring, adventuring. Chad, did you have fun today? I did have a lot of fun today. We're on this trip, I should say. Yeah, the water was beautiful, crystal clear, freezing cold, but still beautiful. But it was fun. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that he was gonna come towards you. <laughs> he kind of just stopped. Maybe actually I actually had food. He might. I don't have food, but I have good intentions. <clears throat> Hi, buddy. He looks like a Fred. A Fred? Yeah, I think it's a Fred. He's very smart. I think it's a Fred. Hi, Fred. I'll be your friend. My friend, Fred. Fred, my friend. All right, bye, Fred. Seagulls are so funny. And if they live in the bay, my friend Carla made this joke once. We were swimming in a bay. And I was like, wow, look at all the seagulls. And she's like, those aren't seagulls. We're in a bay. Those are bagels. Ha, ha, ha. I laughed. It's funny, it's bagels. And if you feed a bagel a bagel, that's like next level. It's like meta. It's like inception. Man, I'm hitting a wall. I had some coffee today, but I didn't have enough. Beautiful. So pretty. It's nice, eh? It's just nice to enjoy the quiet sometimes. Like, I say that, but you can kind of hear the music from Dockside Willie. There's like a bar and grill over there. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it or not. I don't think you'll be able to hear it in here. Hopefully not. But if you can, then we'll fight with the copyright people some other day. It'll be fine. I wonder if we should go say hi to Zach. I didn't ask him if he wanted to be on the live, though, so I don't want to, like, show up and then be like, right, we'll be on camera. I don't think he can. I just think we should ask him to give him a thumbs up and thumbs down. Maybe he's watching it. <laughs> If I know Zach, he's probably reading some like political Reddit post or something like, I don't know, let's go this I just realized there's like a bunch of kids playing on that playground over there and I don't really want to deal with kids and YouTube and child safety stuff. Oh, Zach commented, looks beautiful. Hey, look at that guy. <laughs> you want to come on the live, bud? Bring the unicycle or the gimbal. No, I'm oh. watching you. Oh, yeah, you got Tim Hortons. You got Timmy's? Proper Canadian, isn't it? Zach's not from here he is a new friend fairly new well, it's almost been like a year now but i really want to go for a swim is that bad is that just the adhd kicking in maybe sure. he, uh, he's british he's welsh actually so not english british is okay to say but he is welsh from wales so you go first bro. and so i'm always really proud of my mate zach whenever he does something funny like canadian like get tim hortons what's that did you see something oh i thought i saw a fish but oh. i think we spooked it sorry it's just floating dock well, right now it's floating. Jump, 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 jump. Everybody. This is why I'm not allowed to have nice things. That's crazy, eh? Like, it's just so big. Like, this country is so massive. Like, it's actually crazy to think about. Like, just how big this entire country is. Big. Like, Canada's massive. Can Yeah, can, do we know where... Is this no Lake Huron? Or is this... What is, <laughs> is this in Georgian Bay? This might be like... What is this? I don't know what, what this water's called. Coal something bay. Sorry. Terrible English. Coal Poise Bay. Okay. But it attaches to Georgian Bay. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we were up here. And then we were, now we're here. And this is Georgian Bay. Coal Poise Bay is this little inlet. Like, that's massive. Like, that, that end point is that. It looks so tiny here. Right? And then, boom. I think that's why it's important to travel. It really does open up your worldview. Crazy. Jacker64 says, oh, you're the barman dude from YouTube. I am? My goodness. 
That's me. What's up, Jacker? What's his name? Jacker? Yeah, Jacker64. Jacker. Hello, Jacker. That's me. Says hi. My name is Alex Kazan, your friendly neighborhood barman. That almost works. If I said bartender man, it would have worked. Your friendly neighborhood barman. Barman. Okay. Barman. I feel like I'm in freestyle rapping really poorly with like syncopation. I almost get, I was trying to think of Harry Mack's name, it just didn't come to me in time. So there's a, a guy over here, so a little tight, so that's yep. why I put you on this side. Oh, no, no problem. I appreciate you. I just, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't get their permission. Like, maybe he doesn't want to be on camera. Okay, don't look with the camera, because I don't want to put someone on camera that doesn't want to be, but there is a dog. I, I ship you not. That dog just went pee or poo, not sure. It had both legs on the ground, both front oh. legs. Its rear paws, it was almost like it was about to sit, but its rear paws lifted up off the ground and it squatted to do its business, but only its front two paws were making contact with the ground. What I'm saying is that dog went into a full planche position, like a straddle planche, like a gymnastic straddle planche position in order to do its business. And then it just went on with its day. That's the most impressive thing I've ever seen from a dog. And it's like this big, this dog. So like, that was the funniest, most mind-blowing way I've ever seen a dog go pee slash poo. I'm not sure which one it was doing. Great. All right. Well, that's it. Episode one. Official episode one. We're vertical live streaming today. Vertical, yep. Yeah. The test one was kind of funny. I didn't have audio for the first 15 minutes, but everyone was super forgiving and patient. So thank you for that. I'm going to switch sides with you just so that we're not putting... The playground? The playground on. Yeah. It's kind of you wear these things, you know, like privacy and stuff. It's a concern. It's a genuine thing. Hey, it's Zach. How was your Tim Hortons? Plastic? Yeah. So it was tasty, but, but? You see a five seconds behind. <laughs> Is it trippy? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, Tim Hortons was, was all right. Hey, Zach, everybody. Howdy. Welcome to Wales. What did you, sorry, what did you say? It's like, it was plastic? No, yeah, like, it's not plastic, just like, you know, a bit. But like Tim Hortons. I got Tim bits, they're good. Like microwaves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> just like someone out the back of the liar, just like. And a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> the British way. Yeah. 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 I quit because I couldn't figure out how to put the spoon in my arm, but... Yeah, I kept... Uh, I didn't realise that metal conducts heat, so I kept... I'd light it and then it'll burn my finger and drop it. That's, that's what happened to his thumb. That's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm regretting not filming that entire install. That's mm. a story for another episode. We'll do that in the next live. It was comical. Yeah. Why my thumb is split a little bit and why Zach's thumb is split up a lot. It's, it's cute though, if we put little, like, eyes here, it could be like a little finger puppet. Like goofy eyes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's got ears, like, cuddly bear. Or like, so you scoop, you know? Oh, no, you don't have that here. Oh, you get it fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just nod and smile. That's another review you should do. Get him to order different British food, UK food, whatever food that you haven't tried before. Snacks and treats and stuff. Yeah, like sponge toppy equals... Honey curry. Crunchy what? A crunchy. A crunchy. Yeah. A crunchy. Just called crunchy. Gold. Rapid. Oh, our no, it's blue. Yeah, it's dark blue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or sponge. Would you would you say honeycomb or sponge? Toffee? I think honeycomb more. Yeah. I don't think sponge toffee, you no, know, because it's more of a crunch. It keeps the crunch. When I think honey, Unless I haven't had a crunchy in a while. That, what's that? Sorry, I don't think I've had a crunchy in a while. Maybe we should grab one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had one. The, what were you going to say, sir? I was going to say something, and I forget what. I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, I don't remember. It was something about chocolate and crunchy and... Eh, it doesn't matter. If it was important, it would have been important. It's not important. Do you see the groundhog? No, I thought you would not. Is that it? Yeah. Well, that's the statue of the groundhog, but you see that blue pink cake thing over there? The pen, like the... Wait, it might be blue. We're both colorblind. What is it? Is it a pen? I think it's a pen. Sure. Yeah. It's like to the left of the banjo. Mm -hmm. It's the real one. The real one. That's Wired from Willie, who's he's known for being the groundhog of Canada. So on Groundhog Day, that's the groundhog that the news cameras cover. And then if he sees a shadow, do you have that in England? Yeah. So how do you know if it's going to be bad weather or not? It's winter. It's for winter. The Six more weeks of winter. Down. The cows lying down. Uh, cows lying down, yeah. <laughs> we're driving past. We have a lot of farms closer to the city than here. And so when the cows are lying down, we're driving past, you know something's happening. So. Do you ever go cow tipping? That's a thing here. Do a cow tipping. Pushing cows? Yeah, yeah. me. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of on me. Yeah, I mean, you're trespassing. Yeah. You're tipping a cow over. But it could probably get up. Yeah. It might spurt milk. I don't know. 
All right. Oh, we're going to hit the road because we still have like four and a half hours of road to do. Cat's got surgery tomorrow. Zach's got to print out some important documents. I'll just make something else really down cool. I was going to be like, yeah, yeah. sure. Mine's Big crunchy wrappers. <laughs> <laughs> we just are wrapping cheap chocolate in like brand new material and selling it. <laughs> yeah. On 11 by 17. Or as they call it. A2. A4. A4 is legal? legal? Yeah. No, sorry, legal. No, we have legal paper. You don't? No. It's, we so don't. how do you sue people? With on A4 paper. Or we have, uh, like, <laughs> we do actually, sorry, we do have legal paper. That's a lie. Look at how big it is, though. It's just, but no one ever buys it. So this is A4. And then you have A4. You have A0 is the biggest. And then it builds up. It halves every school, time. What do you What do you get, on, like, for grades? You get, do you have A pluses? I did, but they changed it now to numbers. But we didn't have pluses. But you could get an A. Yeah, yeah. So you could have an A on a sheet of A4. You could do, yeah. An A A4. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's satisfying. I, I didn't have an A, so we never got to see it. Very good. Oh, I did in drama. Yeah. <laughs> that was distinction, but that was an A. It's a different system. Yeah, it's different. You don't do proper, like, it's not real qualification. So, like, well, it is, but it's like it's drama. So the school's like, no, we can't give you a proper grade because you could start telling people you've got an A, but it's in drama. So they don't give you that. So it's, yeah. yeah, they don't want you to be good in drama. No. Because it's not essentially. A, yeah, like, it, it doesn't look good on the news. That's sad. I'm not I have my undergrad in dramatic arts. Yeah, on that disappointing note, that was kind of depressing. On morbid. dramatic arts, like as in art paintings that are dramatic, or like stage? No, no, like stage, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah thespianism. He's a thespian. <laughs> yeah, thespian. Watch out, ladies, like your daughters, he's a thespian. To be or not to be. <laughs> I had a 2B pencil once, but the nib broke and then I had to sharpen it. I'm an HP guy. You're an HP guy? Yeah, sometimes. I think it's said HP, like the sauce. Sometimes just H. Do you yeah. have that? HP. Yeah. It's, from, it's from the UK. HP. HP. It's got the photo of. You have A1. Did you ever know A1 sauce on an A4 piece of paper? You don't have A1. That's American. American. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We have HP. It's got the photo of the House of Parliament in London on it because it stands for House of Parliament. I'm going to let you guys go. As you can tell, <laughs> this, this is going to just, uh, it's like pulling the drain off of a sink in a bathroom that is actually in your bedroom because it's not in the bathroom. I thought it was going to shit on me. <laughs> That's why I thought I was just getting prepared. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Till the Last Drop. Until then, stay magical. Thanks for believing. Signing off from Waterton, Ontario. I wish I knew how to end it. Do I just press the X? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We never ended one. Sure. Oh. Why Washington? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did you already end it? No, I think it's asking me, are you sure you want to stop the streaming? Uh, no. Is there any comments that we didn't get addressed that we didn't respond to? Um, Can we say anything that, that we should answer? Do a Darman parody, but Barman. You're Darman? I have Darman. You have Darman? What's Darman? It's a show. I'm just saying, yes. It's, I, from what I understand, it's basically, it, like, basically, the stories go, a guy's walking along a street, and then kicks an old lady, right? And then the guy behind him walks along the street and doesn't kick the old lady. It turns out they both go into a job interview and the interviewer is the old lady. So the, the moral of the story is you should be a nice person. And that's basically what he does. Darman. Yeah, D-A, how did he spell it? He spelled it right, D-H-A-R. Hey, how's it going? I'm very well, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, enjoy the day. D-H-A, like Dharma, Karma? Yeah, 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 like yeah. Dharma. Dharma. Like Jeffrey. So. This is like a trending thing, Zach? Like, or did you just come up with this from your... No, no, no. This is a th it is a thing, yeah. I don't know if it's still trending. It used to be. Okay. So we should do that. Like, as a skit. Yeah, yeah. That what, that's yeah, what, yeah. That's, like a parody. Yeah. That's what Jack, Jack is saying. Jack okay. is 64. All right. That's a good idea. Cool. Yeah. Dom and Bob. Yeah, like like taking taking the mick out of it. Yeah. Bit, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Jacko. Yeah. Thanks for the idea. I'm going to have to look... I'm, I'm so... I'm, that's why I used to do my hair. It's a funnier joke when my hair's up, because then I go, that's how I do my hair in the morning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wait, with the motorcycle hair, it doesn't work. The joke's just, it falls flat, like the hair. There we go, we nailed it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, is that good? Yeah, that that's it? great. Yeah. Please, Mom, can I go home now? No, you're gonna do it again. <laughs> Start the whole thing over. <laughs> Did you ever get an A1 soft and an A4? Okay, bye everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.